Hey Pisces, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is going to be your general reading for the end of April of 2024. So let's just jump right in and see what messages we get for you. All right, we have the Four of Swords, time to take it easy and enjoy the moment. I feel like with the Seven of Cups, there could be a situation that you're navigating with a person here, maybe a partner, maybe a friend. Um, for some reason, I'm also getting mentor or parent. Um, kind of like there could be something that you're exploring together. And right now, you may just need to take um, a break, kind of detach yourself from the situation for a moment so that you could see something clearly because you're about to see a lot of different solutions show up. But the solutions sometimes don't come to us until we detach a little bit from some sort of situation that we're in. Kind of like when we're too close to something, we may miss it, right? It's almost like when there's something right in front of us and we can't see it until we step back a little bit and observe it from a different angle or a different perspective. So let's go ahead and clarify that Queen of Cups. Oh, did I even show you? Queen of Cups, King of Pentacles, and the Seven of Cups. Um, and right now, as I've stopped shuffling, we have the tower at the bottom of the deck. So let's see what we get for the Queen of Cups. All right, we have the Emperor, which is Aries. We also have the High Priestess, which is you, Six of Swords, Queen of Wands. I don't know why, but for some reason, I feel like this is about a decision that you and maybe a family member have to make for another family member. It's like, I don't know why, but I feel like your intuition is telling you to go a certain way in this, you know, um, in whatever's going on. Kind of like you have a very strong feeling about how you should be doing things collectively right within this group and then someone else maybe because they're older or they have more experience they think it, it should be done a different way and then what's interesting is that you may feel you know very emotionally um connected to this because whoever else is being affected by the decision that the group makes maybe you really care about this person right it's almost like when you have to make choices um for family members because you know they're nearing a certain um, you know, stage of their life, or maybe they have a health issue and they can't do certain things for themselves. And so then everyone else has to kind of get together and see what they're going to do to support that person. But I feel like right now, the biggest um, issue here or the biggest obstacle is that there's a difference of opinions. And it's because someone is putting a lot of power to the age or the wisdom that someone has over another person, kind of like you could have very good ideas but someone is trying to overshadow you because they are older wiser or whatever it is that they're saying right so with this emperor card it's kind of like there's a lot of very strong maybe masculine energy right behind the emperor is the king of wands as well so it's like you know there's so much of this opinionated type of perspective coming through and i feel like for you pisces you're just going with what your gut is telling you and that's it you're not trying to you know over overpower anyone you're just saying you know i think this is the best way and then someone is like no right just putting a hard no in front of your your idea there and that could be very um dehumanizing right and with the six of swords it's like you're just trying to move something along let's see let's clarify um the queen of wands So we have seven of wands. Yeah, someone is being defensive for some reason, kind of like this may not even have anything to do with them. And they're the ones being defensive or trying to make something harder than it has to be. Um, to further clarify the queen of wands, we have the king of cups, the three of wands and the four of cups. So there is some overthinking there where it's like the three of wands is, is the expansion. It's the change. It's whatever it is that needs to move forward. King of cups is, you know, the emotional energy, kind of like someone is maybe using their emotions to sway something to go in a certain direction. Um, and I feel like that defensiveness is the emotion portrayed by this masculine energy. Kind of like someone isn't helping move something along because they are too emotionally invested, right? So maybe this is the person that needs to detach so they can see it a little bit more clearly, right? Really think it through instead of sabotaging the process of something. I feel like where you fit in all of this, Pisces, is you might be the change maker here, where you have the power to help this person detach from the situation. Because I feel like when water signs step into the room, 
they know what they're doing with their emotions because they are so familiar with them. Everyone else, right? Fire signs, air signs, earth signs. Although earth signs, I think, have a little bit better of a grasp. Um, you know, second to water signs. I think that, you know, we, we can kind of help some people figure out how to do that. So let's clarify the high priestess. The fool. Yeah, I feel like there's definitely someone here that needs to take a leap of faith and just step outside of this for a moment. So we have the Nine of Swords, Queen of Pentacles, and the King of Swords. So I feel like that Queen of Pentacles and the King of Swords, it's like there is potential here for two very different people to work together and make something happen. But it's going to take some sort of a leap of faith. It's going to take someone to go in the way that they normally wouldn't take someone else's word for it and just say, okay, you take the lead, right? Almost like there's something about someone's ego here that needs to get out of the room so that progress can happen. With that nine of swords, someone is struggling to do that. They're struggling to let go of their ego. But if anything, I feel like what's happening at the end of April is someone is finally ready to let go of that and let you kind of take the lead here. So really love this for you. Hope you take it all in. And if you like this reading and it resonated, Please give it a like, please subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.